Okay, everybody, I am so, so excited today because I am joined by the one and only Teresa Palmer, aka Rachel, in the new film, The Twin, which is in theaters, on demand, and on Shutter now. How are you doing today, Teresa? Sorry, good. How are you doing? Good. Um, I, first off, absolutely love this film, and it's a tribute to how incredible your performance is in this film. So amazing. But you have to go to a lot of dark places in this film, so I was wondering when you read a script this dark and have tragedy in it is it scary to jump into that or does it excite you a little bit of both I would say um I get really excited at the opportunity to sink my teeth into such a rich character and I know what it means for performance the things I can try and play around with and push myself out of the comfort zone um so that is all really exhilarating but then um, it's daunting too and um, a little bit scary because the subject matter in this story is incredibly heavy. It's about a woman who has lost her child. So her son dies in a very sudden accident and it's completely unexpected. So she's navigating life now with the weight of the world on her shoulders, grief and shame and guilt and all the many things that come with the loss of a child. So. It was a dark world to have to immerse myself in. Um, and I was pregnant throughout the whole filming process. So, you know, it was a, it was a rough one, but, but also brilliant because I wanted to tell that story. And I find it quite fascinating that there are so many women around the world and, and parents, you know, dads and partners and all those sorts of things who they have to just pick up these fractured pieces of their lives and move on because they've got little children to support and nurture this, their surviving children. So it was quite a fascinating look at, at all of that. That's interesting too, all the things you're saying, because you know, being at the film is about motherhood as well. And you being a mom, did you feel like that made it easier to find Rachel's choices in the film, having some experience than let's say if you did this part, you know, years ago? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think just in general, having children has um, helped me in terms of reaching some of the places I have to reach as a performer. Um, uh, but certainly when I'm, I'm playing a mother, um, I, I know what it feels like to have that unconditional love and you know, that infatuation with your children. Um, so the idea of losing that, having that ripped away from you and you know, this is a woman who's, ha she has to break up with seeing her child every day, but the, the dreams of who this little person would turn into and how their mm. life would unfold, unfold and who they would marry or what their life would be like, their career, that it's, it's not just about, you know, everything that you've lost in the moment. It's about the future of that child and what, who they could have turned out to be. And um, it's just, devastating to think about I had to read a lot of uh, articles and journal entries from women who have gone through it because obviously I haven't experienced that myself and I've got mm. lots of things to draw on in terms of that depth of love but I don't have that same sorrowful grief so um I sorry I have a cold at the moment <laughs> Oh no, no problem. Feel better. <laughs> I like it. Uh, um, yeah, so I had to read a lot to really get myself in that mindset. And um, it felt debilita uh, debilitating sometimes because you get stuck in these feelings and it was mm. really, really, really heavy. I had to come up with ways to rid myself of the feelings at the end of the day so mm. I could quickly shift into being mum and put my kids to bed and um, and once they were asleep, I could go back and explore the, the day's work and what I had coming up the next day. So it was an interesting and challenging period. <laughs> That's interesting, too, because you talk about going to bring the kids to bed and you're mentioning the child in the film. Is there a different approach you have to take as an actress having your main scene partner be a child? Is there something you have to kind of consider when you do something like that? I think there's a certain delicacy that comes with having your scene partner be 10 years old um I I was very maternal with him I wanted to nurture him and take care of him in that environment because it's not a natural environment for a child to be in and to be playing a 
a role that's quite dark and the subject matter is really intense. So I felt very protective of little Tristan and um, I, you know, it was, it was beautiful because my son and him formed a really lovely bond. My son would come to work a lot and the two of them are similar age and they would run off and they'd play Nintendo Switch together and <laughs> play hide, hide and seek in this ominous house that we were shooting in. Um, and that actually lightened the mood a lot, having the kids around. And I know the crew really appreciated it because we were all just in this heavy, dark, sorrowful bubble of, you know, this story. So I was very protective of him and um, and I just would check in with him. I'd just always be like, how are you feeling? Does this work okay for you? Like, hey, I'm going, when I'm, you know, in the scene, I'm going to hug you. I'm going to touch you on your shoulders. I'm going to rub you on the head. And, um, you know, this is what I do with my son. Are you okay if I pick you up like this? And just like really communicating with him um, as a person with his own little thoughts and feelings. And I thought that was important. Yeah. And I love that you, like you always do, it seems like you do so much research and pre preparation going into a part like this. And it's really such an impressive performance. So as someone who's kind of a fanboy of Teresa Palmer, is there any kind of tidbits you can give like for us simpletons, any tricks you have or something you kind of do at every role to prep, like anything secrets to your technique that you might want to share? Um, this one was where I felt most liberated, I think, in my career in terms of performance, because um, as you know, you've seen the film, the, the lines between reality and fiction are quite blurred without mm. giving too much away. Um, so <clears throat> it gave me the freedom to dive into so many more bold choices and to get a little um, explorative with the things that I was able to do um, you know I think as an actor your technique is like you read the script like how do you breathe life into this which is quite in a natural way to make this feel real mm. um, but in this situation I got to take it the next step which is how does it feel real but also wild how do I make it feel a little bit wild um, mm. And that was really exciting. And sometimes I would try something and it would not land at all. And then other times it would. And then my favorite moments in the film um, from a, a performance perspective. But I would say using music is always a really good tool to set the tone. So sometimes I would just ask them to play on playback certain kinds of films that um or film scores that were quite emotive for me that mm. um helped dredge up feelings and emotions and um and then doing a journal dump was something else I did so a lot of journaling from the perspective of a mother who's lost a child and then um and in this situation I read other women's journal entries people who had gone through this experienced it and would specifically talk about how isolating the feeling is because the world you know the only constant is change so the world is continuing to move on and you're still the center figure of this nightmare that you're in uh and that's incredibly isolating so mm. all of those things I <laughs> I picked them all and I and I tried to put them into the performance well, it shows and you absolutely crush it in this. Everyone make sure to check out Teresa Kill It in The Twin, which is in theaters on demand on Shutter Now. Also check out her Instagram, her YouTube blog. She does amazing stuff for moms to help moms. It's really awesome. That's what's cool about you, Teresa. You're so passionate about everything you do and it shows. So thank you for joining me today and I hope you feel better. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Steve. <laughs> Have a good one.